so here we are, huge teaching room on the fifth floor. As you can see, it's massive. Okay, so if you notice all the tables and chairs are in a row. Run around. We've got two computer screens and a couple of whiteboards. So think about what that says about the way we learn in spaces. Right, we're on the sixth floor of Kettleston Road at the moment. Um, slightly different configuration here, as you can see. Um, these are very, very, very peculiar shaped tables arranged in groups, so that suggests there's going to be some kind of interaction. But you've still got the features of a traditional teaching space with a podium for the lecture at the front. So think about the space that they occupy. Um, a big display screen there. Think about how everybody gets to see that or what some people have to do in order to view that 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 screen. So right, let's go and find another space. So we're still on the sixth floor, just coming into this room, very traditional looking classroom space with the console, the podium, whatever you want to call it, the lectern at the front in the corner, big screen at the back. So again, everybody expected to be in a certain position in order to take part in the learning. Right, go and find another space to show you. So continuing our tour of the sixth floor, which is proving to be a very productive place, here we are, the corner room. Um, tables laid out in rows again. You've got the lectern there with the PC at the front. You get a fantastic view actually from here if it was a, uh, if it wasn't eight o'clock on a January morning. Um, so there's a the view from the back. Again, quite a traditional space in many ways. So let's continue our journey. We're still on the sixth floor. This is um, an interesting setup. These tables are kind of triangular. Another corner one with blinds down, so we can't see a great deal. It's not a great deal to see, it's still quite dark. So yeah, so you've got these group um, things going on. It implies that you're going to sit around and talk to people, but at the same time, you've got to be able to turn and face the front. Fortunately, the tables are on, the tables, the chairs are on little wheels, so I suppose that facilitates you turning around. Okay, let's crack on. So very quickly nipped over to end tower. Um, this is one of the classrooms here. So rows, and then you've got these bit of group thing going on here. Giant screen at the front. Now then, there's just this random table there with a uh, chair that's different from any of the other chairs. So you kind of wonder who's going to sit there. Probably some clue about how it's positioned. So if we look at it from the front. So the shape of the room often dictates the configurations of the tables. Uh, and the chairs and the capacity. So, trying to find another space to show you. So, still in end tower, 
This is what they call. A lecture theatre. You can put the lights on. That'll help. It's a bit dark. There we go. Quite a big space. And all the individual chairs with the little flip uh, things so you can start writing. It's quite difficult if you're left handed. Um, you can get a lot of people in, in here. So I step up at the back. Nice view again. It was a nice day. And this is a view from the back. Um, so just think about how the furniture in this room helps to um, construct what, what goes on. The certain activities can go on, certain activities can't go on. Um, okay, let's try and find somewhere else. So we're now down in N3. This is a huge room. Um, long rows, all facing the front. A large screen on wheels there with a table and a laptop and a chair facing the other way. Nice corner room, lots of light coming in. There's a bit of a funny dog leg here. You, you could kind of hide in this corner and not be noticed. Um, there actually isn't any tables and chairs here obviously because you can't, if you were sat in this corner but you wouldn't be able to see the um, any presentations. So yeah that's another space to consider for find somewhere else. We're now at T2 and this is what looks like more traditional view of a lecture theatre. Just long rows, no flexibility, so you can't turn your seat around. Some space there for wheelchair users. So think about how wheelchair users are, have to occupy that space. The console here at the front of the screen. So there's obviously certain activities can take place here, but not others. Everybody gets a view of the speaker, and the speaker also gets a view of everybody in the room. There's nowhere to hide, really. And every last bit of space is used, even this little kind of bit at the back. There's also acoustics in this, this room as well, which rather defeats a point in having a lecture theatre. But that's by the by. I'll try not to trip up as I go out. And I'll find us somewhere else. So this is not a classroom, as you can see, it's a corridor. There's little cosy study spaces. So it's kind of intimate, but yet it's in the corridor. 